Butter TV. Hashtag Chena. Cheers, family and friends. Restaurant patrons. Supports. Support groups. Mm. We are drinking a nice wine from Abruzzo, coming from the folks from Calafricio, a passamento to pass through. It's a nice 2017 blend. Very good. Tonight we're going to make a fun play on turkey bolognese tonight. That we're home and home cooking, right? It's a home show. Once again, in case you didn't know, Janet has taken a little vacation for the month of July. We're just uh, laying low, staying healthy, getting healthy, and gearing up for August. We got a lot of things planned and a lot of things happening in August. So we're just gonna take July and get that rest and relaxation, you know what I mean? A lot of stuff going around the world. But we figured it's time to relax a little bit. We're gonna open up beginning of August. We have a new patio in the works as well. Let's get started. I want to thank also Vino Vertes for supplying me with that wine tonight. It's delicious. It's very, very good. Calafricio Apassamento 2017 Rosso. All right, so got a few ingredients here. I like putting carrots, onions, garlic. We got some thyme, some oregano, some basil. We got this here turkey. We're gonna serve it up with some penne. We got a can of Hunt's tomato. We're just using up what we got in the cabinets as well. And tonight we're gonna put milk. We're gonna add some dairy to this. I don't normally put this in the, the dish we do at the restaurant because we use uh, lots of rich meats. But the purpose of the dairy is to add flavor and rich up the dish. And seeing how turkey is a lean meat, we're going to say, hopefully, <laughs> see if we can't rich this turkey up a little bit. We got Huda Hootia tonight on the wheels of steel. Now, I like to serve the bolognese chunky, and that's how we do it at the restaurant. We got nice big cuts of short rib and braised pork belly. What's up, Mr. Bolt Jackson? Let's 
What's up, Jennifer and Russ? Thank you for the gift. It is coming in so handy. We are enjoying the Nespresso. Once again, whoops. Not really caring about my cuts right now. This is a rustic dish and I don't care what it looks like. I'm home cooking. We got the onions going, we got the carrots going. We're gonna get the, uh, the garlic chopped here. Like I said, we're just rough chopping this stuff. It's about two and a half pounds of meat. That was a whole smaller onion, three slim carrots. I'm gonna salt this pasta water here. So it tastes like the sea, right? What's up, Tammy? How you and John doing? So anyway, so again, we're home cooking, and this home spot is better over here. So right now, simply just sauteing a nice amount of olive oil, celery, I mean, some onions and some carrots and some garlic, oregano. I like to use a lot of herbs in this. We're building flavor too, is what we're doing. We put a little bit of thyme in ours at, at, at Chena as well. It's a nice mixture of thyme and oregano. And then because I have this basil, I'm gonna throw that basil in there too. Just like that, nice and whole. So this will be a really herbaceous, Turkey bolognese. Like I said, turkey lean meat needs to have a lot of flavor to go with it. It's hump day. Let's get another cheers. Let's have a nice little drink. Uh, I haven't been able to find my hands, get my hands on, on frog legs this summer yet. RDB. Oh, sheesh, it's Camponi. Elion, what's up, my Italian brother? Over there in Cali. Like I said, we're having a little, doing a little fun play tonight on a little turkey bolognese, right? Not typical. You don't want to bring it on camera? I know what you're thinking. Eh, they don't make bolognese with turkey, yada, yada, yada. I know, but I told you I'm at home and we're doing what we're going to eat tonight. And I'm using up the ingredients in the cabinet. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing out there? What's up, Mr. Franco? Mr. Franco, my sous chef. I'm gonna be telling you later. I'm gonna drop some salt on this right now. Fresh and pepper.
Put a little lid on that. That's right, so in case you missed it, we said earlier that channel is going to be closed for the month of July. Taking some vacay, some rest and relaxation. Getting healthy. Getting ready for August. We got a brand new courtyard coming sometime in August, man. We're super excited about that. Possible word of that, there might be some pizza out there. Who knows? We can't wait to see what's going to go on. taking this time to really enjoy my family and my, my kids. Add some red wine to the bolognese. The bolognese always has some red wine in it. And when you're cooking with wine, you want to make sure that you cook the alcohol out. So what we like to do is reduce this by half, meaning taking that liquid and going and reducing it down by half of what you put in there. Very, very simple. because there's always there's always a bogo on them two weeks out of the month you know what I mean so we stock up on these and they're nice tomatoes you can always afford the expensive tomatoes all the time you know what I'm saying what's up Sandra what's up Craigie <laughs> what up Dustin happy pre-birthday to my main man Dustin Malloy birthday is tomorrow. Make sure everybody shouts out to him tomorrow. Happy birthday, Dustin. It smells like warm tomatoes. Get out there. Cam Pony, get the Jeep ready, baby. Let's go. It's Wednesday night. There we go. Out there supporting us, restaurants. We need all the help we can. These times are tough. Every restaurant I think has been disinfected.
Wear the damn mask. No big deal. What's up, Chef Rob? Saute 2, what's happening? What's up, Miss King? How we doing? How we doing? In case you missed it, turkey bolognese. Not kind of that traditional style bolognese, but we're putting all the kind of same ingredients, except we're using turkey. We're putting a little dairy in this one tonight. It's gonna add some flavor. Some richness to the dish. Right now we are in the reduced stage of the red wine. We are bringing it down by half at least. So, once again we got the tomatoes, we got the pasta. I'm gonna take these tomatoes here. Drain them off a little bit. I'm gonna give these like a little crush. Just a little crush. This guy's kind of whole. Be careful now. Sticking your hand in a can like that, you could cut. Careful when you squeeze these things, the juice will go everywhere. <laughs> this is my 13 year old Jillian. Say hi, Jillian. Mama. Hello, Darlene. It's time for another toast. So once again, got our onions, our carrots, our garlic, our olive oil, rounding up the meat, the glaze with red wine, we've got our oregano, we got some basil, we have some thyme in here as well for some herbaceousness. And we're letting this kind of cook down right now in that. And then once that stage is done at the halfway of the cooking by half here, I'm gonna add in some more. And then we're gonna bring it down by half again. Then we're gonna add some more, and then we're gonna cook it down and hang again by half again. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes. I'm also 
also think I probably should use the bigger paint. So did you just pour the pasta in there? No. The other one, this is one of the twins. You all have seen her before. She's been on the show many times. She helps produce the show. This is Daniela. She's also the grip, the boom, story writer. Yeah, speaking of story writers, I wrote a story last night. Well, well, I'm sure they'd love to hear it. Calafricio, Abruzzo. Five pounds of meat. I'm gonna add some more salt. More fresh pepper. At Chana, this is our number one selling dish: the bolognese. everybody doing? What's up, friend? Well, we can get through all this stuff. I'd love to come out and see you guys all and do some bowling. What's up, Indiana? Once again, if you're just signing out, we're doing turkey bolognese. Turkey bolognese, I know. Non-traditional. that says, I've been using this the wrong way. You know, usually you put it in the sink. You see to put it in the pot. And you just pour it. And only water comes out, no pasta. Voila! Johnny. Yeah, by the way, I haven't shaved in like four days.
body. Well, we're gonna let this cook down. I'll post a pic on our Facebook page. We're gonna call it a night. Turkey bolognese. Hashtag by the TV. And Kermit. We got Kirby on the scene. Mascot. What's up, Jessica? We're leaving. Got to go.